Oh, I'm sorry. Was someone calling me? Sorry, I was just busy being a fashion icon. Just kidding. Hi, and welcome to my new video. If you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Lex, and this is Lost Falls. Today I am sitting. I'm also going to be doing a speed build of Nook's Cranny for you all, so super hyped about that. It's going to be just to the left of the entrance so that it's easily accessible to visitors and also just close by if I need it. So yeah, my first goal here is to raise these cliffs because I want Nook's Cranny to be on the second level and I'm going to have Abel Sisters in front of it on the ground level so that it's like a little shopping district. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. This video was originally like two hours long and I guarantee you 80% of that was just me going back and forth building cliffs. So I do skip some of that, but I'm not doing anything crazy with the cliffs this time. I'm just shaping them so that they're big enough for Nook's Cranny. So yeah, I'm gonna, some of the little skips are just me skipping through 30 minutes straight of cliff building. Just as I'm doing these cliffs, I'll let you see my map here. Uh, this is where I'm building, what it's looking like so far, and believe it or not, I do remember to show you my map again at the end. You know the drill, these custom designs just mark where I'm going to be placing my incline. Here, I'm finally sort of getting a feel for how I want to situate Nook's Cranny. So I want to have it on the first tier of cliffs and I'm going to make a second tier of cliffs just to the left of Nook's. That way I can have like a waterfall beside it. And here I'm using a, the brick path to show where I want to have my Abel sister shop, just so I have an idea of that like in mind while I'm building. So this is where I'm going to have it. This little outline marks where I originally planned to place Nook's Cranny, but it feels too close to my incline, so I decide to extend the cliffs back a bit so that I can move Nook's Cranny back. Please drop some cute catchphrase ideas because I legitimately just made Marshall's catchphrase my guy.
If you've seen my other speed builds, you know I usually go for the light dirt path when I'm making pathways on my island, but in the stitches and plaza speed build, I used a brick courtyard, and I kind of wanted to bring that element back in here so that that wasn't like a throwaway part of my island so that my island does feel connected and cohesive. So yeah, I decided to use brick pathing for Nook's Cranny because it also just feels more like professional and businessy, which is cool for a shopping district. You already know I've got to add height to this area, so I'm gonna put cliffs behind Nook's Cranny as well, just so I can have trees up there that are like more visible behind Nook's, so it feels kind of hidden away, like tucked away in the woods, even though it is placed prominently at the front of the island. I'm doing a lot of pondering here because I'm not sure how to make the trees look most natural, so I just sort of pause to think about that. Because this is just part one of a two-part shopping district, I am trying to keep in mind what I want Able Sisters to look like. So here I'm just shaping the cliff so that I'll have that waterfall going over the edge, but its source will make sense with Nook's Cranny as well. Also, as usual, I'm trying to keep in mind where I want trees as I'm building the cliff so that I don't have to worry about that later, so this custom design is just there to remind me that a tree is going there. have this little corridor that I made accidentally and I don't know I think it'd be cute to have it leading somewhere. I'm thinking of taking the incline away from where I put it right next to Frobert's house in like one of my very early speed builds because I'm running out of inclines rapidly so I'm thinking if I take that incline away I can incorporate it behind where Nook's Cranny is so that there's easier access to resident services. I won't be decorating for Able Sisters in this video, but I wanted to go ahead and put this area out because it's like a little sign that says marketplace. So I was like, oh, well, it'd be cute to go ahead and get that out. So I just put these trees and a few plants. I don't do any other kind of decor for Able Sisters.
I really want to use this turkey day garden stand, but I think it looks kind of dumb here, so I end up removing it, but you can let me know what you think. I just really wanted to incorporate it. I want to have something on the other side of this mini river, so I decided to lead the path to it, but you can see I'm super indecisive about what kind of path to use. I do end up staying with the brick because it just looks a lot better that way. I am once again adding cliff because as I said in the beginning, the speed build was 80% me working with the cliff tool, but I just want to have more space for trees and stuff on the second tier cliff beside nooks. So yeah, I just need to give myself a little bit more room to work with. I don't do much with this cliff in this video, the one directly behind Nook's Cranny, just because I'm not sure what I want the area behind Nook's Cranny to look like yet, so I don't want to add trees and then obscure whatever I put behind there. So yeah, I'm gonna- I'll do a future build that includes decorating the area behind Nook's Cranny, but for now it's just gonna stay pretty- pretty blank. Pro tip, the holiday candle looks so cute on the garden stand. Here I'm making a cute little campground slash resting area to go alongside Nooks. If you're wondering where I got the kids tent, which is also new from the update, I got it from my friend at Glitter Crossing Shop on Instagram. She has a treasure island that's specifically holiday themed if you're interested in getting the items as well.
feel like I should just label all of my speed builds as cliff decorating tutorials because that's what I spend so much of my time doing. Please notice how perfectly the antique bureau and the turkey day chair go together. I think it's adorable. First, I think this new tree is a little bit much for the area, but then I decide I like it. I like the way it makes Nook's Cranny feel just that much more tucked away. At this point, I'm just trying to make sure everything feels complete and full. I had almost forgotten about this cliff just to the right and behind Nook's Cranny. I was so focused on the one to the left, but yeah, I think it came out cute. I wanted more cedar trees, but I couldn't find any more on my island and I didn't want to work with saplings, so that's why there are so many hardwood trees. Hello, it's me, Lex, sitting again. I'm in love with this emote, I'm sorry. The build is complete and I've moved forward so that everything is growing and pretty. And as I promised, I'm going to share the map with you now that the area is totally done. Well, with the exception of Able Sisters. Okay, so now for the walkthrough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this build was inspiring or at least entertaining and surprise, I'm out of quarantine so Peaches is here to tell you all goodbye until next time. I love you guys so much and I missed you. Bye!